So you guys know I had to do this video. The Galaxy Buds Plus versus the AirPods Pro versus the one more true wireless A and C. Let's find out. So when Samsung announced the Galaxy Buds Plus at the unpacked event with the Galaxy S20, I had to do a comparison against the AirPods Pro, but I was gonna throw in the one more true wireless ANC because I just got those as well, and I've been using them for a bit. So let's start off with the Galaxy Buds Plus, right? The successor from last year's very successful Galaxy Buds, these have uh, not just a new touch of uh, color with the different colors like the baby blue, uh, you know, the red, uh, the black, and of course, the new kind of glossy white finish. Now it retails for 149, you're going, okay, why is it more expensive? What's new here? What's different? Well, a couple of things. It doesn't have ANC built in, but it does have longer battery life at 22 hours with 11 hours playback on your earbuds, longer than anyone else I've seen so far. I could be wrong, but longer than anyone I've seen so far. Now, that's also another 11 hours within the case. You do have wireless charging still built into it, so that's there. And you've got, of course, USB Type-C for charging, which will also give you 60 minutes of playback, so an hour with just three minutes of charge. So that's wonderful. You're like, that's great. But what about the sound, Thunder E? How does it sound? And what about the fit? All that fun stuff. Right? So fit wise, it's still one of the best in terms of just fit. And they've also added winglets as well to give you more secure fit for people who need that. And I like the options that are available there. Just find the right ear tips for you. And that gives you some really good noise isolation. And I'll say it works out really well, especially with these. Taking them on a flight, I was able to use them on the plane, listen to music quite well. Now, it's not, of course, as strong as an active noise cancellation, but the isolation is really, really good. On the subway, it's fine. On the plane, you still probably want to need ANC. Now, when it comes to audio, and of course, you've got a couple of options with the EQs there to help, and that's probably the best way to listen to, of course, the Galaxy Buds. I will say, though, the highs are really clean. I like the feel of the highs on this ones. The mids are much lower than the original version, not as much as I would like it to be, and the lows are actually a bit on the flat end. Not too flat, but just a little bit for me. Uh, overall though, the sound quality is really nice. Vocals come out so clear, and it's got a much brighter sound to it. I do like them, I do like the way the sound. Now, people ask, Thunder E, what about the microphone? Fear not, Samsung added a third microphone to this, and I have to say the mic quality is really good. I've been having conversations with friends, clients, and people have had no idea, and they've just enjoyed the very clean, clear conversation with me, and I've gotta say, they have done a good job here. So, look, it's pretty solid. Now, let's move over to the One More True Wireless ANC, which retail for 199. Now, what do you get with these? First of all, these are stylish. They've got that black carbon fiber finish, and you've got this case that's much more lengthier and bigger, of course, than the Galaxy Buds case. That case does have, of course, wireless charging. It has USB Type-C, so you've got that built into it as well. Now, this also have active noise cancellation, which is great, so when you put them in your ear, it's got a really nice fit, and they give you also a ton of ear tips for that to give you the best custom fit that you can actually go with with these. But uh, the controls are, you've got touch controls on the sides of your earbuds that give you a uh, cycle through for your active noise cancellation. There are two levels of active noise cancellation and there's also pass through. And there are buttons at the top which you use for either uh, pausing and playing music or increasing and decreasing your volume. Now, I will say this can get a little confusing, uh, but after uh, just considerable amount of use, maybe about an hour or two, you kind of get used to the button controls there. Now, battery life is at 22 hours with six hours uh, playback within the earbuds, and uh, you've got another 16 within the case. So not as long as the Galaxy Buds, but when it comes to the audio quality, this thing is really nice. It is very warm in sound, and it's got a nice richness to it. Now, the highs do not go as high as the Galaxy Buds, which I really like the way those highs hit. Uh, uh, but the lows and the mids are really nice. Uh, they feel more robust here, if you will. Now, when it comes to the microphone call quality, I'll say it's good. Um, it's not 
fantastic, but it's still a good microphone. And the active noise cancellation is solid all the way through. I like the fact that there are two levels. You can easily tap to get a different sense if you want to. So it depends on what you're, where you are in your environment, it works out pretty well. And then of course you have the Apple AirPods Pro. Retailing at $249 is the most expensive of this whole bunch. Uh, and of course, they have active noise cancellation. I have to say, I will give Apple props for the active noise cancellation. They do work out really well and they give you a nice sense of feel. Now, the fit of these are also much better than the original AirPods, but for me, they don't fit as well all the way. I wish they had extra air tips, which Apple does not provide, but they still do a good job in terms of fit when you're actually using them. Now you're looking at about 24 hours of battery life uh, with these with six hours uh, playback uh, with each earbuds and then of course more with the case as well. Now this of course has wireless charging so you can actually go ahead and wirelessly charge your device. Uh, and in terms of audio quality, which is what you guys are thinking of, uh, this has also a nice clean sound. The highs do not hit as high. Uh, the mids and lows are good, uh, but what you do get is a little bit of a miss there in the mids, just a bit there that kind of makes it tail off. So it doesn't go as, as robust as I would like when you are comparing all three together. Now the microphone, as you know, is world renowned and is really, really good. Apple hasn't actually slouched here at all. You can have very good conversations with this and they'll go really well. So. How do I rank all of these? Well, when it comes to audio quality, I'm gonna start there. I have to give that to the one more. So the one more sound, probably the most robust for me. And every genre I try, it really plays a very rich, clean tune. Now, my second are the Galaxy Buds Plus. Yes, uh, the highs are really nice, and the mids and lows are a bit lower. But when I go through genres, they sound really clean and really clear and the music comes out clear. Now the AirPods Pros are also good as well. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that they're bad just because they're number three. I'm just saying that in this hierarchy here, the AirPods Pro have of course maybe the weakest sound for me in my sound uh, quality you note. Know, the highs don't really hit it as much and it's not as robust overall. Now, when it comes to the microphone, yeah, Apple takes the lead here just by slight um, margin over the Galaxy Buds. The Galaxy Buds have come a long way to catch up to giving you clean and clear sound. Now number three of course are the One Mores which are good but not as good as the other two. Now of course active noise cancellation is something the Galaxy Buds cannot compete with but the isolation is really good and probably better than all of the other two combined. But in terms of active noise cancellation I give this a uh, uh, I give this a slight win to, to one more just because it has two levels of active noise cancellation. I think its first level or the highest level is about the same as Apple's, uh, but its uh, second level gives users a different gene to uh, skip through, if you will. Now, overall here, I have to pick one, two, and three. After, and of course for me, sound quality takes the leading category of all categories. And I have to give that to, of course, the One More. The One More sounds the best. It has a good microphone. Uh, it also has some really good ANC. And that's something that's really balanced overall at that $199 price point. And of course, you do have, of course, 22 hours of battery life. Now, my number two here are the Galaxy Buds Plus. Uh, the sound quality is very nice and clean. And of course, you've also got a uh, really great battery life on the earbuds themselves at 11 hours. And of course, a quick charge time of just basically three minutes would give you 60 seconds of use. Plus the microphone's been improved. Now, my number three is the AirPods Pro. They're good. But of course, the two price, uh, high price for me at 249, uh, and the audio quality is good, but not great. The ANC is good, very good, and the microphone is really solid. I think that's my placement for you guys here. What do you think? How would you stack them up? You might pick something else over the other, but you just reminding you again: Galaxy Buds Plus at 149, the One More is at 199, and the AirPods Pro are 249. So there you have it, guys. Number one. One more is number two, Galaxy Buds Plus, and number three, AirPods Pro. Leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.